Hi, Dilly Holy You versus it's me, Preston Yui, and we are no longer in a rivalry with Breezango, but we are not number three, so we got two more spots to go till we get to the number one container ship. So we gotta go attack Diego and Fernando. So we're gonna see if they're here. Fernando's here. Alright, we got running on Fernando. Fern oh, pressing the wrong button. <laughs> We got run in here for I was like, why is this not working? Uh, post match interview, post match. Let's just do that post match. Fernando. Wait. Cancel. Post match. Target for now. Okay. I was getting confused there because in universe mode, it's like supporting this guy. And I'm like, why is it like that? That's so weird. It should always be target, not support, unless you're running in the middle of the match. Alright. See you guys at the intro. Alright, here we are at NXT. Fans cheering, yelling. Gotta turn down my headset. Because honestly, when you've been playing WWE games as long as me, you get kind of tired of the you know that song I don't know the lyrics I don't care you know what song I miss what theme song I miss and I think I've already said this already um it's the Smackdown one from the Attitude Era the that song was so fucking dumb and retarded that it was the best thing ever and why am I talking like this again Okay, let's just get into the game. Fernando versus Brody Tyson. I wish I could beat the shit out of Brody Tyson. But I guess being the shit out of uh, Epico is just as good. I used to think Diego was Epico. I thought Diego was shorter than Primo, but... No, it's the other way around. I wonder what those guys are doing. If you can't tell, I haven't been able to watch Raw lately. I kind of just get the clips of the important stuff, and then I watch the pay-per-view on the network. But, yeah, it seems like Fernando and Diego ain't doing nothing. Look at me celebrating. It's like, yeah, woo, yeah, ole, ole. And then I come in, I'm like, he's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, crochet, motherfucker. Boom, drop kick. We ain't done. We never done. Boom. Alright, I think we should crochet clothesline him, so all the way over here. And he's getting up, he's slowly getting up. He's like, oh no. Then BAM! Crochet clothesline. And now they should hate us. Lucha Dragons, or not Lucha Dragons. <laughs> it's a way better tag team. Um, what are they called? The Los Matadores. I'm so sad for Kalisto and Paul Cruz. <sighs> They're getting like a bad end of the stick. Come on. Yeah, Fandango. Come on. Some got Shh, Damn it. Come on, Vic Listo. Aw. Alright, Crochet Outlaws, we gonna win. We gotta win, it's Tag Team Champions. Alright, just waiting for the match to start. I forgot to set my timer, but I don't really I don't really use my timer on career mode, because in career mode I'm not worrying about doing a good match. I'm just worrying about destroying my opponent. <laughs> and now that Crochet has like 90 momentum, I boosted him up again. I boost him from overall to 88 to 90 by maximizing his own momentum. And I was going to change his entrance, um, still debating on it. Because I'm thinking about giving him, uh, giving him a good entrance. I mean, he always has a good entrance, but I mean... An even better entrance. Let's 
Sorry I got really silent there. Um, someone was coming to my room to say, hey, we're getting food, what do you want? And then I was like, oh, I guess I should probably say what I want to eat. By the way, Lent, for all the other Catholics out there in the world, Lent season coming up. Gonna be giving up sweets. Usually I give up soda, but I figure this time, give up the candies and stuff. I've been eating candy a lot. Um, the reason why I say don't give up soda now is because me, my dad, and my sister, we all drink the same kind of soda, and right now, financially, my family's not in the best place. I'm having a hard time finding a job. My dad has a job, but he's the only one working to pay bills. My mom doesn't have a job, and she can't get a job, or else uh, my sister can't get health care. And my sister, she has like a weekend job because she's still in school. So I was like, financially, we can't pay for like, we can't like, like I know it's not that like big of a deal, but I figured it's probably cheaper just to say, hey, give up the candy. That's like a dollar every time we go out and when I'm like, oh, okay, I, I'm going to get some candy. To be honest, I don't even go out that much to the store unless my sister's going because then she, I don't, me and my parents don't like her going to the store alone. Because you never know these days with the weirdos out there. And usually that's when I get candy. I figured, eh, save someone some money. But right now we're beating up Chad Gable. In a good place. Forgot to start the timer. But it's okay. We're going to bring in the outlaw. He's going to be like, look at me. I'm standing on this guy's shoulder. It's okay. Here we go. And, oh, no. Ah, oh, elbow drop. Yay. <laughs> the ref was so amazed <laughs> that he forgot to go for the pin. He was like, oh my god, he went off that guy's shoulders. <laughs> Take me back in, you jabroni. Um, boom, smack him down. But yeah, I was like, candy, uh, that's like a dollar that people don't have to spend. And two, um, they're not spending extra money trying to buy, like, juice and shit. Because I can't drink soda. And sometimes they just like forget fucking drinking juice or buying juice. And then I'm like, oh god, I can either drink the nasty tap water or I can not drink at all today. So that's always the struggle with Lent. Also remembering not to eat me on Fridays or tomorrow. Or well, today. This is being recorded on the Tuesday. I was going to give up playing video games, but then I was like, ah, uh, no, that's not going to work anymore. Boop. Doop. Go down, Jason Jordan. J. Jords. What's up, J. Jords? Oh, no, J. Jords got me. That's a dumb nickname, J. Jords. It's not even his real nickname, it's a nickname I just gave him. Son of a cock. Damn it. You son of a bitch. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Not late. Oh, no. Okay, J. George. I got your number here. Watch this. Boom. Kinshusi. Kinshusi Juicy with a whooshy. Spooshy. Douchey. Now we got say goodbye to Chad Gabes. J. George, game pen. One, two, kick out. Ah, I just got my hair whooped in my eyes. My f the, the front of my hair is getting really long, and the sides, they're kind of really long, but I buzz them when I get my hair cut, so they're not as long. So when the front gets really long, sometimes when I like scratch my head or like flick my forehead, to like move the hair out of the way, it sometimes lands right in my eye and it's really irritating. It hurts a lot. Oh damn! Jay Jordan's got me. I 
I just realized, I think I made, uh, Crochet maybe a little <laughs> too dark. Because comparing him to Jason Jordan, he's kind of, uh, um, super dark. Whereas, um, as, uh, what's his name? Oh, what's the Dave Chappelle skit? Uh, Rick James. Dr. Sales! I love that skit. It's so funny. Dr. Sales! Dr. Sales! And that was before Wesley Snaps was around, so we were the Dogs Brothers, we know. <laughs> I love Charlie Murphy. Boom! Got you, Jason Jordan. And now the crochet elbow. Oh no, I have to compare him because I think um I think Jason Jordan's actually light skinned in real life. Is that the correct term? Two, three. Ding ding ding. The crochet outlaws my is that the correct term, light skinned? I don't want I don't wanna offend anybody. Like, but I'm trying to remember, Jason, like, the last time I saw him was on, uh, Talking Smack. He seems like a very, like, I don't want to say super intelligent, but he seems like a very, um, classy guy, if I w were to get to know him, Jason Jordan. The way he carries himself. Like, he carries himself like, like, um... Like, you could tell he's got that young, youthful, young man-like, um, characteristics, but, like, at the same time, there's, like, he seems like him and Chad Gable are very mature for their age. Though, what is their age? Maybe they are older than I think. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking they're, like, in their, uh, early 20s. I'm, like, they seem, like, very mature for their age type people. But there we go, Crochet Outlaws one. And um, depending on whether or not something cool is going to happen on main event, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Alright, guys. We are in main event. Sadly, I'm against Wally West. We're in London, England. London, United Kingdom. See, it feels weird when they say London, United Kingdom. I like saying London, England better. But we're not going to show you me facing Wally West because no one wants to see me facing Wally West. But the problem is, even though we attacked Fernando, Fernando's not a rival. So I have it here, Fernando facing Jaden Jet. And we're just going to go in there. We're going to beat the shit out of Fernando. But first, I got to beat uh, Wally West. So I'll see you guys after that. In fact, you're probably going to see the next next time we load it up, it's going to be me beating the shit out of Fernando. So, see you guys then. Alright. So, we're back. I could pass the, uh, the match with uh, Wally West where I won by count out. Because if you want a really good tip on how to get through main events, um, go to the outside, make the guy follow you, go into the crowd, fight into the crowd, and when the count gets up to five, set him up on the table by the crowd, do a table move, and then just walk back. And there we go, we got Fernando, he's talking about how he just beat up Jane Jet. Boom! Doom! Doom! Again! Beat downs all over the place, all over the place, all over the place, in your face. Uh. And now, Fernando, you are righteously getting beaten down by the crochet. Boom, 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 beat downs. Crochet is literally, I, I've made a bunch of characters in the past. Crochet is literally the only one that I wish was real. Other than the one that I made when I was a little kid. Where I was like, yeah, this is going to be me when I'm a wrestler. That's the only one I wish was real just because then I'd be a wrestler making money. And by the way, you're probably saying, oh, well, being a wrestler doesn't automatically mean you're making money. I was like t WWE champion for like a... Uh, 10 years <laughs> in that game so yeah I should have been making good amount of money 
I was also like, like my idea when I was a little kid was like, was I was the youngest world champion, so like, like at the age of like 17, I won the title. So I would have been champion for about 10 years, <laughs> at the age of 17 till age 27. <laughs> Well, we got Mojo, Raleigh, and Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder wins, of course. Big Cass versus Baron Corbin. Big Cass wins. Come on, Listo. Oh, Baron Blade wins. All right, guys. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, we are the rivals of Fernando and Diego. Let's actually see that before we leave. Are we the rivals? Are we, are we the revivals? The revivals? The re rival revivals? Are we a WWE symbol? I may actually show you guys next time um, my little trick, my main event trick. It's not that special, but it's literally the easiest thing. No, we are not the rivals of anybody. A motorcycle just went off right behind my door. Or my, or my window, I should say. That's weird. What's going on? What, what, what rivalry point are we at? And we're losing faith with, uh... With, uh, Outlaw. Well, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, always remember to stay Yui, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.